I'm going to show you another top tip that may help you manage your assignments properly. Uh, this one we're going to go into Google Classroom. So I've already signed into a student's account. And as you know, if you click the Apps tab, you'll get all the relevant apps that you need. Now, you can enter Google Meets this way. Uh, always check your email. We'll talk about that in our next top tip. But I'm going to click into Classroom. So you'll notice that I'm using a grade 5 student, uh, clearly, because there's grade 5 classes in here. And uh, I could be using any students, but this one I usually have permission to use this person's account, so that's what I'm going to do. Now over here, pardon me, under each class you're going to see assignments that are due this week. So in French, uh, Madame Strike has an assignment that's due on Monday. I have an assignment in math. Froschmidt has an assignment in social. And then there's a few assignments in language arts. Now this person's uh, classroom account is actually pretty decent. Okay. Over here on the three lines that I mentioned in my uh, video on Wednesday is where you're going to click to see a to-do list. So I'm going to click that. And if you click it, basically it's just got a menu of, of your classes, a calendar, and a to-do list. So we're going to click our to-do list. And basically what this gives is a list of all the classes and assignments that you have stuff to do. Like I said, this person's is not bad. It's not bad. I've seen a lot worse. So here's your to-do list and here's your done list. We're not going to go into the done list because that one will hopefully be longer. But this person has uh, some Reading Assistant Plus, other things. Now you'll notice the color coordination. These are um, assigned to certain classes. So orange looks like it's French. Blue is social. This teal is language. Math is purple. And then you're going to see uh, things that are missing. So if it's re a red due date, that means it's late. Okay, today is the 22nd already, so these ones are late. So if, you're, if you see red due dates, you should probably go onto those first. The ones that have no due date, I would get to them as soon as I can. This one says it's due today. This one says it's due Friday, due Monday, due May the 5th. So what you're noticing is it will start with the uh, ones that are missing first. Some of you may have a way longer list than this person. And then it'll eventually go down to the bottom where, hey, this stuff is not due for a while. Uh, so it's okay if uh, you're not working on it now. So I would probably start at the top. Now I just noticed that the due dates in red don't necessarily mean they're late. Because tomorrow's, pardon me, uh, Friday's the 24th and it's still in red. So I guess what the red is telling you is it's just bringing attention that these are the due dates. You better get on it. All right, so uh, if you're not too scared, you may want to open up your to-do list and start uh, start at the top and do one assignment at a time. Before you know it, you'll work through your to-do list quickly.